So, Spin Master has released their Q4 numbers for 2023, a perfect time for looking at the metrics on how Gen 3 of Bakugan did since it's released. The second part of the first season released on Netflix in January, and Waves have been hitting stores like it's the second coming. We just got Wave 3 cores in stores here in Winnipeg, and the starter packs have been found all over in the US, and even in discount stores in the US like Birmingham, excuse me, what? Now, if you've been following the reports through 2023, I've made videos talking about them, and yeah, Gen 3 has been seeing quite a decline ever since its release. So how did it do in Q4, especially since Gen 3 was gaining momentum with the release of the show's second part of the first season? The story for the show was pretty good. Surely Christmas shoppers want to buy Gen 3, right? Well, no. Even though Spin Master revenue was still in the billions, it was down 5.7% compared to last year's 2.0203 million. Breaking down Q4's performance in the three months that ended on December 31st, toy revenue was $406.8 million, an increase of 2.5% from last year's $396.7 million. Wheels in Action increased by $23.3 million to $113.3 million because of Monster Jam and Hexbug. In North America, we actually decreased in gross product sales, meaning that not as many people buying this stuff compared to the rest of the world. And unfortunately, no thanks to Bakugan as they have been stagnant in North America, but in Europe and the rest of the world, Bakugan has been one of the factors driving the decline. For the whole year of 2023, unfortunately, Bakugan has been seeing the contribution to the decline as a trend. Revenue for the year of 2023 was 1540.9 million, an 11.3% decrease from last year's 1.737.6 million. Wheels in Action decreased by $41.5 million, or 9.2%, to $409.3 million, led by decreases in DC and Bakugan. Only Monster Jam and Hexbug saved it from jumping off a bridge. And Bakugan was also one of the constant contributing factors to the toy gross product sales declining everywhere throughout the rest of the year. Ouch! Freaking ouch! Now, it's not too surprising, while some exceptions, all categories saw a drop this year to be fair. The toy industry this time currently is having a bit of a slump as consumers grow more cautious with their spending and inflation and rising cost of living grow more hostile. Bakugan though is currently having a bit of a crisis as toy sales continue to spiral down the toilet and with this latest piece of news it might be getting worse. As we previously reported, Liam Barron, one of the producers of the Gen 3 show, has revealed publicly that Season 2 of Gen 3 has still not been greenlit by Spin Master, with the show being one of, if not THE selling point to the toy line, not giving it the proper airing it deserves could hurt sales even more. As if the very bad game that came with it does wasn't wasn't bad enough, I've already said all I needed to be said about the Gen 3 game, it sucks, it's disgusting, and I don't need to repeat it over and over again. But with the latest shareholder meeting that Spin Master just did, it's not looking good for Season 2 of Gen 3. Just listen to this. In 2024, we expect to deliver less entertainment content, but with a revenue mix skewed to higher margin licensing and merchandising revenue. While Bakugan or any other property like Unicorn Academy wasn't explicitly mentioned, Spin Master has revealed that the plan is to cut entertainment deliveries going into 2024, which does not bode well for Season 2 of Gen 3 since this comes right after Liam revealed the situation. But even still, there is no concrete plan and no official announcement from Spin Master anyway, more likely scenario is that they are still weighing all options, or they're just planning on cutting content that they're posting on the Bakugan YouTube channel. My own speculation on them being hesitant right now about Season 2 is the issue with streaming services and wide range of competition right now. Streaming services are on a rise more than ever and Netflix has more competition like Disney Plus and Paramount Plus. People don't want to be shifting through multiple services to watch stuff they want to watch, the service that gives more diversity and collects their favorite shows all in one place as much as they can. Disney Plus holds Marvel and Star Wars. The thing people are excited about right now on Netflix is Avatar The Last Airbender, the live action action adaptation. People don't want to be paying for Netflix just to watch Bakugan, especially since Netflix is getting more and more expensive. And Netflix doesn't really have anything else that you can't find somewhere else. It's difficult to find the best suitable service that everyone can access and still make money and attract the viewership it needs to survive. So Spin Master is likely holding off until they can figure out a way to best maximize the profits they need from doing the show. Again, that's just my own speculation. And like I said before, the show is great and I am a fan of what they did 
made for Bakugan this gen. Regarding the show, it definitely deserves a season 2, and it would be a real shame if they cut off the show before it got a proper ending. The toy line will continue as planned with its second year since recently Amazon pre-listings have shown up with the listings revealing the planned Shape Fury coming out, you know, those abominations of Bakugan that we reported on before, and apparently Penji is getting one! We're getting a new Baku tin, and apparently there is the ultimate brawler set. Oh, we might have our capstone for year two. But plants are subject to change, and with Gen 3 sales still in decline, it's unknown what will happen to the franchise past its second year. Spin Master expects 2024 to be just as volatile as 2023. As Max described, heading into 2024, we expect the toy industry will continue to be under pressure, continuing to face macroeconomic headwinds, and market volatility, and is expected to decline, although at a slower rate than 2023. We expect our toy gross product sales for 2024, excluding Melissa and Doug, to be in line with 2023. We're not going to do a live action outro this video, but here are the bullet points. Bakugan continues to be in a major decline and the future of the Gen 3 show still remains uncertain. And with the way sales have been performing lately, the future of Bakugan itself is probably left with a big question mark. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Support Bakugan by pressing the thumbs up and give us a subscribe for more awesome Bakugan content. I've been Ren, thank god for rapid fire, Ventry is based, and please give God, hashtag green light season two. Bye.